Hey everyone, Will here with my flea market finds for August 24th, 2016. Uh, haven't made a video in quite a while, uh, mainly because I haven't been doing too much shopping. I've really been trying to uh, get caught up on the stuff that's been sitting around. Uh, when you buy all the time, it's easy for the stuff to uh, pile up. Uh, buying's the easy part, it's the listing that's the problem. Uh, but we've made a pretty good uh, progress uh, getting stuff listed. I'll probably need about another month of listing to get caught up on everything, but uh, I did a little bit of shopping. Got a few things to show you. Uh, with fall of the year coming, uh, almost out of August now, uh, sales will start picking up. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to a good fourth quarter. Uh, but uh, got 7,400 items listed in the store right now, so uh, I'm hoping for a good, uh, good Christmas season. Uh, fingers crossed on that. But uh, let me show you what I got uh, picked up recently. Uh, some stuff for uh, Amazon. Not worth a whole lot, but uh, still in the original wrap. This Lego is probably the most expensive. Uh, that brings like uh, 20 something. Uh, but uh, we'll send those off to Amazon. I've done well with Boy Scout stuff. Girl Scout stuff, not as well. But this was pretty neat and the price was right. It's a uh, Girl Scout jumper uh, with the merit badges. Um, I've sold uh, some of the vintage uh, Boy Scout merit, merit badges uh, for really good money. So hopefully it'll be the same with the uh, Girl Scouts. Probably not. But uh, really cool uh, jumper. Five bucks on that. Couple of... Uh, what do you call them? Bits. Horse bits. Uh, goes in their mouth. Uh, pair of them for five bucks. This one kind of looks a little, you pull back on the reins and and I guess that's for a horse that doesn't want to cooperate very much. Uh, it seems a little cruel, but uh, i probably sell them together. The book is pretty neat. Uh, two bucks on this and it looks like I'm guessing it's some kind of lodge book or something, maybe a Mason's it's all in code. Um, your guess is good as mine, but uh, nothing written on the outside. I uh, have to do a little research, but I have no idea. Uh, Bell Puckle, Military Police, 2nd Infantry D Division. I uh, love the stuff that is uh, identified. It usually takes a while to sell, but uh, when you find the right person, you can make good money. Uh, only four bucks on that. Vintage model. Even though somebody has attempted to put it together, uh, still a nice box and uh, uh, should still bring some good money. Vintage models always do well for me. Uh, check out the mini set of bongos. That is a small set. Uh, two bucks on those. Uh, never seen one quite that small. Uh, the uh, cross that was uh, ten, really well made, heavy, uh, heavy brass. A uh, quality piece of glass here that's, um, the mark is uh, LG, which is uh, Linux glass. Uh, I think they started using that in the 80s. A few pieces of costume jewelry, nothing great. Uh, the rings were like a uh, buck a piece bracelet was like a dollar fifty like this one take a look it's a Indian head penny is that 1889 and somebody turned into a, uh, a ring 
thought that was pretty neat. On uh, Elvis uh, Presley thing, uh, I got that for two bucks, and uh, it like swivels around inside there. Still in the original bag. We'll put like fifteen on that. Uh, it's just a silver plated ladle, but uh, these have always sold for me. And with the holidays coming, uh, people will start looking for stuff like this. Uh, Four dollars, that's a $20, $25 ladle right there. A pair of baby shoes. What I like is they still have the original box. Picked those up for three bucks. A uh, cast iron. Uh, goose and this is a bottle opener really cool really good shape uh, should sell good uh, some more barware here these are pours stick them in the uh, uh, tops of the bottles and the uh, fluid will come out their cigars a uh, set of three of them 12 bucks the lamp uh, 10 Pretty nice, looks hand painted. The only mark on it is made in France. Uh, good quality. A little Scotty Dog uh, bank. Uh, people love Scotty Dogs, any kind of dog really. Love the look of them. And uh, he was five bucks. Not sure what he'll bring. A uh, shore, shorebird uh, carving. As signed, uh, Jeff Jester, Chickatique, Virginia, 1986. Uh, love anything as signed, always buy signed stuff. Uh, so this was cheap, it was like five bucks. Uh, definitely make some money there. Uh, measuring cup, thought this was uh, unusual. And it's marked uh, Revere Wear. Uh, this was probably like a giveaway or something like that. Um, but a uh, cool piece. And uh, who knows? Sometimes pieces like this will uh, um, surprise you. It cost me 50 cents. Uh, why not take a chance on it? Um, lots of people love Re Revere Wear. Bookends. Not sure who this guy is. Got a little uh, defect here where they uh, where they pushed the mold in. But uh, guessing it's some kind of uh, um, emperor with the uh, uh, laurel headgear. Uh, Twelve for the pair. Took a chance on them, like old bookends couple books and uh, like it this one is brand new in the wrap and the other one um, still in good shape but uh, let's see let's scan it real quick and see what it's bringing on Amazon um, new and used from six dollars well, I paid uh, three a piece for those. So, we'll see what the new and the wrap one brings. A uh, couple more shorebirds. Uh, signed, which of course I got them. That was ten bucks for the pair. Uh, down here is a group of elephants. Person collected elephants. My favorite are these two guys. They are cast iron, really heavy. Uh, got some nice wear to them. Got some nice age. Um, and this guy, he's like a bisque porcelain. Got an unusual mark on the bottom there. Uh, Trying to look that up. The mark is the key to it. Could be a really good piece. They weren't cheap, 100 bucks for the four of them. Uh, this one's solid. Well, I mean, it's nothing but brass. Kind of reminds me of that uh, 
Uh, in New Jersey, there's a uh, elephant tourist attraction. I think it's called Lucy, the Lucy House or something like that. It looks a lot like this. I have to compare the pictures. Um, but that's a cool looking vintage piece. But my favorite is the, uh, the elephants. You can see like the, the ripples in the skin, the muscles. It's a really well done. I mean, look how they did the eye. Uh, you don't see attention to detail like that in newer uh, cast iron. So what I'm hoping is that these are uh, put out by like a company like a Hubley or something. Got to do some research. It's going to take a lot of looking. Um, but if it's it's by like a good company. I think you're looking at several hundred dollars a piece. But it comes down to the research, as usual, even with uh, the Bisque uh, porcelain one. So uh, look that up, see how they, they do. Uh, we'll get some more stuff listed. Keep an eye on my store, Terminal 99, which is where most of the stuff will be appearing over the next uh, week or so. So until next time, this is Well Yard Sales 5 list. We'll talk again soon.